Now one of the main elements in fluffy pancakes is warm water. So place two cups of water into a microwavable container or larger container if you're feeding a large group or you if you like pancakes. Place your microwave on full power one minute because you don't want to boil the water you just want to get it warm really warm like uh, like you like to drink your tea or your coffee and once that's going you go do something else now depending on your appliance see I have numbers from low to high and it goes low high and then two four six eight ten so I place it on medium heat. Now on my range, that would be six. So just like that. Now I do all this before I even put all the mix together in the water. Now once your water is heated to your desired temperature, you can place it, <clears throat> start pouring your water into the mix. Now you can use your favorite instant pancake mix. I have my favorite. And so you just pour it in a little bit of time. And I stir it with a fork. The reason I stir with a fork, it kind of rakes it and that's okay. Don't worry. I put a towel down to catch all the mess so my wife gets home. She won't know what I was doing this. Okay, so you scrape it aside and you see what's happening. It's kind of rising, kind of a pre-rise. That's why you don't put a whole lot of pancake mix in there because it'll rise pretty good. And you can uh, stir it to the consistency that you like by adding more water, scraping the sides, stirring it up. You can see the bubbles there. And what's happening is this mix is starting to pre-rise. The old bubbles in there. Just like that. You don't need it too thin or soupy. That's just about right. Just like that. Now, we go over to the stove and uh, we're going to make some pancakes. Okay? So now the pan's nice and hot. If you can hold your hand about two inches from the pan and you hold it there for about four seconds it's getting pretty hot. It's ready. Now this is a non-stick pan. Even though it's a non-stick pan, I do like to put a little olive oil on there. So I spray a little bit, just like that. Mix my mix up a little bit. Now, watch the magic. Just like that. keep my container of pancake mix not real close just enough to keep it a little bit warm now we're going to get a good look at these bubbles here see those bubbles and watch them form see what happens this pancake batter is warm and so the heat from the pan is able to push up through that pancake batter. If you put cold pancake batter on that pan, that cold is going to fight against the heat. So when the pancake batter is warm, then it's a, the heat rises quicker. And you get all those cool bubbles and you get the nice spaces in there. It makes it nice and fluffy. So you can see all those bubbles now. I'm going to move this. A little better position there. There you go. See all those bubbles? Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And how long should it be on a pan? Well, I go by sight and smell. Not so much by time. You can see along the edges here that it's starting to dry up a little bit. 
dry out. That means the heat has risen and pushed through the pancake better. So I go by a certain percentage. Also smell. Not quite ready. Give it a little bit. See it's starting to dry out. Not dry out but get cooked right around the edge. Kind of getting toward the middle there. Okay so grab my little spatula There. Nice fluffy brown pancake. There you go. See all those bubbles pushing through that pancake there? That's going to make some nice pancake. All right. Now I just usually go by sight, I don't go by time, I go by smell, I go by look. You can see it's pushing through right here or on the edge coming through so you gotta go by feel get your spatula under there there you go there you go a little dark I went a little long but that's okay there you go now can you see all the steam coming off of there See all these holes right in there? Little bubbles, those were the bubbles. That's where all your all of your uh, butter or whatever you like to put on, your preserves, your honey. I like to put honey on mine. Pancake syrup is going to absorb, soak right into those little holes right in there. Alright, that's beautiful. Now you see all these holes in here? That's what's going to absorb all this wonderful honey that I'm going to put on it. Nice, thick, beautiful golden honey. Sometimes my wife asks me if I'm going to put pancakes on my honey. Well, I like honey. Dive into those pancakes just like that. See it ooze out of those holes just swimming in honey. Some people like syrup, some people like some people like preserves. You can do that if you want. But I like honey. Mm-mm. That is good. That is really good. See how that runs off of there? All those holes. That was awesome. Well, this will be my lunch. And I gotta clean up this mess before my wife gets home. Enjoy your fluffy pancakes. See all that fluffy goodness right there, how fluffy they are. So the secret, at least I think it's a secret, is the warm water. See all that, how fluffy that is? If you have flat pancakes but no rice to them, your batter is too cold. Uh. Mm. My problem is I like pancakes. I can't stop. And there you have it. Mm. Dickie Thomas's fluffy pancakes. Mm -mm, good. Thank you for watching.